Out of all the focal lengths out there, the 35mm has to be my absolute favorite for portraits. In fact, it's the only lens I've been using throughout 2018 and this year 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why it's my favorite and how I use it. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tommy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a portrait photographer from Melbourne and you can see some of my work here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you six different reasons why I love using the 35mm lens for portraits and why I think you should use prime lenses as well instead of zoom lenses. At the end of this video, I'm also going to be announcing the winner of the product photo shoot giveaway with Alpaca, so stick around to find out the results. Firstly, a little backstory into how I got into using the 35mm lens. Now, usually when you think of portraits, you think of people using the 50mm or the 85mm or even 100 plus, but I tend to enjoy using the 35mm for a few reasons. At the beginning of 2017, when I first got my DSLR, I needed to buy a lens to go with it. And at first I got the Canon 50mm 1.8, which is an amazing lens. It's super affordable and it's really popular amongst all beginner photographers. I started using this lens because it was the only lens I had and some of my favorite images of all time are still shot with this lens. But after a year of using this lens, I really wanted to try something else and explore differently. They felt a bit too compressed and I wanted to showcase more of the environment. I feel like location and environment are just as important as taking a great photo of a subject. So I wanted to branch out and go for a wider lens. At the time I had enough money to buy the Sigma 35 1.4 Art and I've been using that lens since then. There are so many reasons why I've been using this one lens for two and a half years and I'm going to share with you some of these reasons right now. Firstly, for my own style of portraits, I love including the environment in the photo. I feel like it makes the photo feel less of a portrait and more of a lifestyle shot because it gives so much more context and we're able to see more of the image. And with the 35mm, it's a lot easier to capture this environment. And also we have a little bit of a wider field of view, which makes the image look less compressed. This is one of my favorite ways to compose photos using the 35. As you can see in this image, more than 80% of the background is dry grass and brown. And in fact, the entire image is different shades of brown and orange. And how does this make the photo feel? Obviously, we can see that there's a lot of warm colors, which make the photo feel really warm as well. And also, since all the colors are coordinated, it makes the photo look a lot more intentional. Now, with the same location, let's say I shot this with a different composition and focus more on the sky. Since the sky is quite cloudy, I'd actually lose a lot of the warmth and I'll actually lose a lot of the coordinated colors in the photo. So in this kind of location, I love to shoot the photo downwards to make the photo feel a certain way. Another reason why I love shooting with the 35 is because when we get a wider field of view of the environment, we also get more leading lines that are more dramatic and obvious to see. Here I've got an indoor shot that was quite similar composition to the previous photo, but in this one it was shot indoors and there's a lot of leading lines that lead into the subject. Although this photo has a very similar composition to the previous one, it feels very different and here's the reason why. In this photo, I was able to utilize the wide field of view of the focal length while also using a corner of the room to give the photo a lot more drama and create a lot of leading lines. This makes the photo feel very tight and enclosed and gives the feeling of being entrapped in the photo. If I shot this photo with another telephoto lens, I wouldn't be able to capture the same amount of intensity and drama using the environment. Another reason why I love using the 35 for portraits is not only can we warp the environment, but we can also warp part of the subject. Here I've got a different kind of portrait and I want to talk a little bit about the composition of this one because I find it really interesting. At first glance, you'll notice that the subject is upside down, so you'll immediately think that the photo is flipped. But once you look towards the left side, you'll notice that the flowers are the right way up. So now you're looking at an upside down subject and a prop that's the right way up. Your sense of balance and rotation in the image is going to change and that's what makes the photo really fascinating. Because of how the lighting is shaped and the prop is the right way up, the prop is anchoring your sense of rotation for the image and it makes the subject almost feel like she is having a flying feeling. And because we've got equal weight in importance with the subject and the prop, the photo feels very balanced even though it's quite asymmetrical. Shooting this kind of photo would be very difficult with the telephoto lens because it would make the photo look very flat and it wouldn't give as much emphasis on the warp of the environment. Another reason why I love using the 35 or any prime lens for that matter is you get really familiar with the compositions of that one focal length. 
Obviously, there are countless compositions that you can use for your lens, but for me, I've found a few compositions that I really like with my 35 and it's really stuck with my style. I'm really happy with the way some of my photos look using the 35 and it's something that I want to continue further on. Another reason why for me shooting with just the 35 has been really good is because I've focused less on the gear and more on the story that I'm trying to tell. And in fact, only having one option for your gear makes you focus a bit more on the things that you're actually shooting, which might be the location, the subject, the outfit, uh, any props that you have. It will give you more focus into that versus your gear. This can also help with boosting your creativity because you're focusing more attention on coming up with great ideas for photo shoots. This is something that I've been trying to do for the past few years, not only when I was on my 50mm, but obviously since I'm on my 35 now, and I've been focusing a lot more attention on what I'm actually shooting. <music> Lastly, another great benefit of myself using the 35 is that I've never had to switch lens and I've never had to worry about not capturing a moment because I'm in the middle of doing something. Because I've always got the 35 on me, I'm really familiar with how far I need to be or how close I need to be to a subject to get the right focus or to get the right composition for it. And it's really helped a lot with client shoots to make it really snappy and I've never had to switch focal length or zoom in and out really quickly just to get the composition right for the photo. It's helped a ton of my photo shoots because it's made them all look very consistent and since I'm only using the one piece of gear, I'm only changing the story that I'm trying to tell or what I'm actually shooting. In summary, using the 35 for the past few years has allowed me to find my own personal style and I've really fallen in love with the field of view and the composition and the shapes that the 35mm allows me to make. I definitely recommend anyone else to use only one lens for a prolonged period of time and just see how your results look. All right, so now we're gonna be randomly drawing the giveaway winner. So we're going to go into the YouTube video URL. We're gonna be hitting the get YouTube comments. We've got 88 men of comments and I'm gonna hit start. Drum roll, please. We've got Alexis Aros, and their comment was, I would use this as my everyday bag, currently in Thailand, and would love a bag I could use to carry my stuff in. Congratulations, Alexis, you've won the alpaca bag. Please DM me at underscore Tommy Quote on Instagram, and we'll get your details and we'll ship the bag out to you. And that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite focal length is. If you'd like to see more content from me, hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell notification to always get notified for my latest videos. And that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.